February 6, 2013. I was going to talk about Cub Scouts, but um, save it for another day. I was going to talk about uh, first music class, save it for another day. We just had an election year here uh, a couple of months ago, and the uh, first time that my uh, son voted, so uh, congratulations. One of the first, one of this, this is going back a few years, but the first cassette that I got, my mother bought for me, was uh, Alice Cooper's Greatest Hits. And one of the songs on there was uh, Elected. Uh, and if you watch the video on YouTube, uh, he kind of dances around. Uh, it's all about being elected. Uh, it was it was probably, God, I don't want to begin what year it was, but uh, it was probably like one of those uh, Nixon election years uh, back in the early 70s. Uh, but he just uh, campaign year and, and hey, wrote a song about uh, being elected. But I remember the first cassette. Now, what I had was a um, one of those typical kind of elongated uh, cassette player. You know, you had like the four or five buttons, press two and play and play and record at the same time, uh, but uh, play that play thing over and over again. That was, that was the beginning, uh, beginning early, early rock days. Uh, God, it had to be 74, so I remember I uh, started getting into KISS about 75, 75, 76, they had their uh, Destroyer, Destroyer CD come out. Uh, album in those days, but uh, cassette. Alice Cooper. He had a lot of good songs on there. Uh, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I hear that on the radio. Rings a lot of bells. Uh, I know he. Uh, after the greatest hits, he had uh, an album that was really popular. Uh, a song was the Only Moon Bleed. And again, this is mid mid 70s, but. Uh, Got to see him in concert a couple of times uh, there in Oklahoma City. Uh, I thought I even got uh, got pictures. I know I got pictures. Kind of like dig those up. Uh, and seen him seen him in uh, in Washington. Actually, it's probably in Portland uh, when I seen him. Okay, I thought I seen him a couple of times. I remember he used to have a pretty good stage show that he would uh, do the guillotine bit and, and the hanging and uh, that must have been that one because I remember uh, uh, in a big, big uh, like a movie, uh, like a TV TV projection and it showed him running, running, running and it came, came flashing through, splashing through the screen. Uh, Good one in concert was uh, Dead Babies. Of course, he always did uh, Killer, so he'd bring his uh, snake, python snake out and hang it around his neck. But uh, pretty, pretty good theatrics. Uh, I remember listening to some of the earlier uh, Alice Cooper when he had all the long haired happy freaks, uh, Billion Dollar Babies, and, and of course the Killer album. Uh, pretty good, pretty good songs. Uh, I don't know why I thought of, thought of that, but I just uh, uh, a lot of a lot of things to talk about, and I just uh, going through going through the memory banks and uh, thinking the other day, God, that was uh, election year. And I'm just thinking the first cassette. Uh, I remember when uh, I finally graduated and got uh, those big speakers and those big old monster things that would sit on the floor and and rise up uh, about three and a half feet. Uh, got a set of those one year. And uh, folks let me have uh, the real uh, cassette player. And it was sharp. Uh, we see a lot of uh, electronics nowadays, sharp, uh, sharp electronics and sharp minds and sharp products. And uh, that at that time, sharp it has a dual, it was a dual cassette and it had uh, those little sensors that when you record, 
can see them uh, bounce back and forth. I'm always fascinated by uh, by uh, electronics and music. But uh, Alice Cooper, uh, one of my best friends. Uh, that time uh, when we uh, when I had my motorcycle motorcycle year years uh, hung around had a motorcycle also Mike Busby and uh, he uh, he played bass and his uh, his idol was Alice Cooper so he had the uh, top hat the black top hat which is pretty cool and uh, he would dress up in space uh, uh, Cooper once in a while uh, but yeah Cooper Cooper was a big influence. Uh, influence in those uh, 70s, 70s. Uh, I remember the, uh, the Welcome to My Nightmare uh, uh, album was popular. Like I said, that only women bleed. Uh, I know on that one, like Code Ethel. Uh, I remember uh, playing that a lot. Um, pretty good, pretty good. But uh, I'm going to leave you with the. Uh, you liked it. This is Alice Cooper. Uh, popular, popular song. Check, check it out on uh, on YouTube. Uh, uh, that was the day. Huh, long haired hippie freaks. February 6th, 2013.